Hey y'all, what's going on? Just got out of a value village. Let me show y'all what I picked up, man. I picked up some some pretty good uh, items. Here we go. Hold up. All right, guys. Picked up these Harachis. They only wanted seven dollars for it. What else? Got some Air Force Ones. They wanted eight dollars for them. Got some Air Maxes. Seven dollars. Some more Air Max. 97s, eight dollars. Picked up some more Air Maxes, seven dollars. And then y'all look, picked up some Vapor Max, yo. This is crazy. Size eight. And what you put the price on them? Seven dollars can't beat that so majority of shoes I picked up I can make probably between 60 to $100 off of each of these shoes so yeah guys let's go ahead and head to our next thrift store hey guys I'm in a next thrift store and it's actually a Goodwill and this Goodwill guys brought some heat today the first item I found was these women Birkenstock sandals size 41 and it was brand new guys. They were only asking $6 for it. So I went ahead and scooped those up and I could probably get around $80 for these brand new. The next item I picked up was this Taft men uh, double strap or well, monk strap uh, dress shoes. And they only wanted $6 for it. And guys, this is a brand that I've never picked up before, T-A-F-T. -T, and it sells for around $100 to $150 on eBay. So I went ahead and picked out those shoes up too. Then the next pair of shoes I picked up was these all black um, Air Force One size 10 and a half in men. And they were only asking $6 for them. So I went ahead and scooped those up too. Then I found a pair of Pradas guys. But as I look closer at it, man, these were fakes. Some pretty good fakes, but um, I was upset a little bit. But I went ahead and put them back. You know, I don't mess around with fakes. Then I picked up these men echo shoes and these were in, in okay condition. Um, I need to touch it up a little bit, you know, repaint it a little bit, but they were only asking $6 for it. And the bottoms were in really good condition, uh, minor yellowing. So I went ahead and, and picked those up. I just have to clean them up a little bit, but I could probably get around $60 for these on eBay. And I didn't just find one pair of Echo shoes. I found two pair, the same size. They were both size 12 and they were asking $6 for both of them. The bottoms on these shoes were in pretty good condition too. A little yellowing, but I went ahead and picked both of these up and I can make $60 from each of these. Then the next item I picked up was these Jordan Retro 4s, um, all gray suede. Uh, well, actually it was new buck material, but yeah, they only wanted um, six six dollars for it and I could probably make around forty to forty five dollars for these on eBay and then I found another pair of shoes size four and a half in kids and these are actually Jordan retro fours too and they're only asking uh, six dollars for these so I went ahead and scooped these up too and I could probably make around thirty to forty dollars on these on eBay and yeah well, I'm sorry they were asking three dollars for them and I can make around thirty to forty dollars for these on eBay then the next pair of shoes I picked up was these Jordan Retro 11 snake skins. And these shoes are really nice once they're cleaned up. The bottoms were a little dirty, but they're only asking $3 for them, guys. And they're a size 2 in youth, and I could probably sell these for around $40 on eBay. And then I found another pair of shoes, um, which was actually a pair of Jordan Retro um, 8. And they were okay, had a little minor paint chippings on it, but they wanted $8 for it. And the other shoes in the same size, size two, was going for, they wanted $3 for it. So I went ahead and left those behind for that price. But then I found these Nike Air Max. And these Air Maxes were in really good condition. Or I thought they were. When I looked closer on the toe box arrow of the left shoe, it was just messed up. So I went ahead and left those behind. But then I picked up these Jordan Retro 3s, guys. 
and these were super clean. 100% authentic, and they were a size four and a half in youth. And guys, I was just amazed because they were only asking $8 for these, but I could sell these for around $80 to $90 on eBay. All right, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you again for watching. And if you like the videos, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I haven't been on one of those in years. Yeah, hold on, let me let me try. Oh, it's time to resell, it's time to resell in the ATL.